Again, LG isn't doing it one or two devices like other. No, it has to be five new smartphones we see here on the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. And this, of course, is the biggest one, the G Pro 2. And as you can see, it's a uh, successor from the G Pro, but we have that G2 um, set down here on the back with the up and uh, low volume and that standby button over here. And by the way, 13 megapixels camera, 4K video, so everything you want to have and especially 5.9 inch display, full HD of course, IPS, um, 3200 milliampere hours battery, Android 4.4, everything you want to. And especially I find that feature great, it's called NUC code because you can now unlock your device by having a um, frequency of knocks instead of whatever you want to have but be careful it's very tricky because if you just tap a little bit below that um, thing you, you you locked before you will have the problem that it won't unlock so please be sure that you remind what you have done and in case you should be insecure, un just use it like your own um, G2 double tap feature that's called knock that's existing, of course, too. You can choose whatever you want to have. On the other side, we have this one here. That's it called the G2 Mini. That's a combination of that G2 and, of course, a smaller one, but small. Uh, so it's called Mini might be a little bit irritating because we're talking about 4.4, sorry, 4.7 inch display um, so as you can and that's of course uh, HTC one to remind you and if you have that comparison over here you see that's a total different league that's uh, what I call a schnitzel because you have 82 uh, millimeters on, on the bright side over here versus 63 over here and this is the um, thing you you compare whether you decide to find a device for yourself, is it compact or is it a big one? It's 170, uh, 172 grams and this one is 125 grams coming in addition. So uh, this is a, a really big difference. For people who like big, big screens, all right, but I'm in love with this one here because this is a kind of compact feeling but nevertheless you have a Snapdragon 400 quad core processor, 8 megapixels camera, uh, 8 gigabyte internal memory, uh, again expandable and to prove it um, I'm showing you this trick over here. Tada! And that's something you can do with all smartphones you see over here. All five new smartphones have a removable battery and have a extendable um, memory so that's something i really respect and that uh, stage because you might remember we have had the g2 where a lot of people said wonderful device but i can't buy it because of that built-in and fixed battery and the loss the lack of a memory sd card slot so both are in all new devices over here and i find it really very great that a manufacturer is listening to the um, to the buyers and especially in that quick a time um, proving that it can do better and it's listening and as you can see over here this is uh, really something I respect and that's uh, a great thing. The only minor thing I have to show you is the a little bit problem with the uh, resolution because this is 540 by 960 pixels so meaning round about a uh, yeah, 236 ppi but on the other hand i hope you can see over here um, if i'm showing you some of the texts or in the menu in the app launcher over here you nevertheless can read the text without any problem so it's not the highest um, the highest resolution the highest pixel density on the market of course it's way below the average but nevertheless you can read anything and i guess there are a lot of people out there who say okay i do not need that uh, super high resolution or that big screens like that i just need 
big enough and, and good enough. And especially when we come to the price, LG hasn't announced any price for the G2 Mini yet. But if, as I heard from several uh, sources here on the, in Barcelona, I guess there will be some around about 350 euros from the start without any contract for this one, meaning street prices running some 330, 320 or whatever without contract. So depending on the on your market of course but nevertheless it's not that expensive let, let me call it like that for a quad core device so you have every and LTE of course dual cell HSTPA so everything you want to I'm really in love with that one as you can see uh, but let me come to the um, uh, LG uh, uh, sorry L3 series over here that have been announced before so I will not um, show you all the um, specifications but uh, the prices of this L40 for 9 99 euros, L70 for 149 euros and the L90 for 199 euros. At least for Europe they shall come round about the end of April. All those devices expect for this one we have to wait if uh, this one will come to Europe but as a successor uh, came to um, Europe too. I'm quite uh, positive that this will happen too, but nevertheless, I can promise, you know what I mean. All those are running on Android 4.4, 4, um, uh, ex except from this one. We're not quite sure that this at, at the moment, but I uh, will have a look if you have that moment again. Let me try that knock code and then let me see what we have over here. Uh, general and about phone and um, software information. Okay, this is 4.4.2, so all devices with 4.4, Android 4.4, KitKat, everything, uh, all devices, removable battery, uh, expandable memory, so what else do you want? Okay, I hope this is enough for a first impression from LG here from the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Thanks for watching, take care and hope to see you back soon. Bye.